I'm sitting here now with Irini Stepanakos. You had two goals and two assists today. You stepped up after the three losses on the road to the home crowd. How do you feel? I mean, honestly, I just feel right back in place to where we, before, we were before. I think we were in a bit of rut, and especially I felt that way about myself as well. So getting back into it in this game is definitely going to pump us up for the next few coming up. When you have a game like this where you have two great assists, how much does that help team chemistry? It definitely helps a lot because then it doesn't feel like it's a one player type of game and you really helping create the entire play as a whole. It really uh, boosts the spirit of the others and helps them realize that they can they can be a part of the play as well. We're coming to the end of the season. How do you and the team look to improve in the final weeks? Um, I think we're just going to improve more on working as a team as we did today and really stepping up our game putting in that championship mindset because I feel like these past few games have set us back a little bit in our mindset. But hopefully with this one and the one on Monday, we'll get right back where we were before at the beginning of the season. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, the final score of the game is Keen State Owls 5, Framingham State Rams 2. I'm JJ LeBlanc with Kevin Butlin saying goodbye. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining us. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.